So this is the 3D printed model uh, that I had uh, SLS printed by uh, Sculpteo. Uh, this model is based on the uh, on the super tube, um, and so it's got it's short, and it's got the same diameter all the way across. It's got threads, um, and it's got this uh, this stop here. Um, it actually came out quite well. This is the KB X10. Um, handle and I can get the alignment right. It fits fine. It's actually quite snug but it isn't uh, scraping and uh, works pretty well. If I turn off the light here you can see that it works quite well. Uh, there's no reflector on the end but the, the thickness and the material actually diffuse quite evenly and it's short just like uh, the super tube would be uh, with an X10 tube. It also fits onto um, my collar. Uh, I'm not bothering with the handle right now, so this is the collar is the only part that matters for fit. Um, screws in also quite well. Um, and then uh, the switches may be uh, the switches may be off screen, but you've seen that in a previous demo. So here we go, different settings. Uh, hold on, it's on max brightness now, so let me turn the brightness down a bit. Um, so various colors and the way that it looks in the uh, uh, with uh, with my uh, RF controlled setup. So so this is good. First try uh, was a good model. So this is a model that I can use in the future um, as the basis for um, a mold uh, that I can use to injection mold uh, my own diffusers uh, in the case that I want more. And, um, and in the case I want to change the way that this design works and the injection mold um, you know more. Also, um, PCBs came in from Seed Studio. Uh, I've got 10 of them. It cost 15 bucks to have 10 of them made and shipped. This, I haven't put them together yet, but this is the kind of version 2.0 design where the switch is up front here. Um, and then there's another two holes here for me to use to put in a, uh, a micro switch. Um, and so that means that instead of having the switch be kind of way back here which is kind of annoying because it's really close to where you would hold it on the handle now the switch will be all the way in the front kind of far away from where you're holding it so I can easily put a notch in to the handle I'll probably cut something out here um, and then you'll be able to access uh, this uh, without having to bust open the case every single time.